We're a little bit over a month away from the release of this game, so we don't have to wait too long. But let me look at this roster real quick. Let me tell you guys what I think. I'm not going to lie. This is starting to add up. Honestly, I think that this roster is good. I think Prosciutto and Pesci being a like tag team, I think is awesome. I said it in the video, I was like, if this is real, I think this is so cool. This kind of archetype wasn't really represented. And I know that whole horse throws the bottle and then summons um, the hangman. That's cool, but I don't know, dude. Like that's cool, but I think this is this could be even cooler. Like we don't we could have more than just one move. Cause whole horse just calls out the bottle and that's literally it. I think this could be awesome. Them as a tag team, let me zoom in even more. Them as a tag team is really cool. This is awesome. I love this idea. I love characters like this in fighting games. I love assists. Like tag based games are my favorite games. Games with assists are incredible. I love Marvel. Like I love versus games. I just love characters that are able to call like assists and minions. Giaccio already said what I feel about Giaccio. Now that I'm pretty sure this is real, I can come to terms with it and I'll be okay with it. You know, I like his voice. I said it before. I like his voice. I like his design. I like his stand. I love the fight. I love the moment. It was cool. Speedwagon, I lost my mind when I watched that Speedwagon trailer for the first time. I don't remember if I recorded a reaction to it, but that breakdown video, that video, I'm happy that it got the love that it did because I love Speedwagon. I love the way that he looked in the game. I thought he looked awesome. So Speedwagon, super cool. I'm totally down with Speedwagon being in the game. Diego, everyone knows that Diego should have been in the game from the start. Steel Ball Run was done by the time that ASB came out. So honestly, there was no excuse for this character to not be in the main game. There was absolutely no excuse. And the fact that he's in is sick. Somebody pointed out in my comments, and I appreciate... I can't remember your name right now off the top of my head, but I know somebody brought it up. They totally did reuse Gyro's normals on when he's on the horse and gave them to Diego. So that's kind of sus, but everything else is sick. He looks sick. He sounds cool. The updated GHA is neat. He looks awesome. Perfect, like perfect, perfect addition. I want to bring this up just because, I mean, we already know they're, they're going to split Pucci. I think splitting them up is a bit weird. I think it's a weird decision. I totally understand why, you know, avoid avoid spoilers, avoid anything, you know, like, oh, you know, we can't show Made in Heaven yet, even though people could totally... You could still go and buy ASB on the PlayStation Store. It hasn't even been delisted. So someone at Ban and Emco or CyberConnect2 was like, well, we can't show off the... Uh, we can't show these characters off just yet, you know? We can't show off Made in Heaven just yet. So on one hand, I think it's weird that they decided to split them off and potentially make Simon Pucci DLC. I think it's weird. On the other hand, as a player and as somebody that played a lot of vanilla ASB more so than a lot of other people, I'm fine with it as a player because you never see Made in Heaven in an actual match. You never do. I've said this a couple times before, but the only times you ever see Made in Heaven in an actual match is when new players are fighting against old players and the old players just want to troll. And that's literally one of the only times that I've ever seen Made in Heaven in an actual match. So as a player, yes, I'm happy because maybe now we can actually see Made in Heaven in an actual legit match. But as somebody that would have preferred brand new models in the game after playing Foo Fighters at Anime Expo, I am slightly disappointed, but I gotta hold that. They gave him a new GHA, so he's not the exact same character, but it is what it is. Fugo, his model just got updated. There wasn't anyone else I missed here, right? Oh, Pet Shop. How could I miss Pet Shop, dude? How could I have missed Pet Shop? Here's the thing, right? You can't ban characters online. I don't want to live where a broken character comes out and then we just have nothing. We just have like no updates and then we just have to play against this broken character in ranked that just breaks the game. And we just got to hold that until he gets nerfed or until something changes. I don't want to live in that era. So am I fine with him being in the game? Part of me wants to say no, just because I hate Pet Shop. I thought the fight was cool and everything, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. If he's fun and not completely broken, thumbs up. I'll give you a big thumbs up. That's it. That 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 is literally it. I think Pet Shop, take him or leave him. Could have replaced him easily with Weather Report and nobody would have complained. I think Yukiko being in the game is cool. She's a cool character. I don't know how good she was in Eyes of Heaven. She was kind of fun whenever I just decided to hit buns with her, so I'm like kind of cool with it. Out of all the characters they could have picked from Eyes of Heaven, you know, I'm kind of happy that she got picked over somebody like Enduel. Yeah, like somebody over like Enduel, Stroheim, Joshu, you know, I'm happy that these characters decided, or they decided to pick her over a lot of these other characters, right? I'm happy. I think she's solid. Trish? 
Again, it's another character from Eyes of Heaven. Model ripped straight from Eyes of Heaven. It was expected. She's a main member of the Part 5 cast. She's not that cool in terms of design, stand, stand power, moves. She's not the coolest, but again, she's solid. I'll, I'm kind of looking forward to playing as her because I actually like, um, I like her stand. That's the coolest thing about her. It's kind of not even her. It's her stand. I really like her stand a lot. Mariah's cool. You know, if they were going to, again, you're going to port over a lot of characters from Eyes of Heaven. I think Mariah is a decent to good choice. I think she looks cool. I think the, um, her gimmick of the magnetism is sick. I think that she was low-key a little bit fun. She was kind of fun in Heritage. And some of her animations do look pretty cool. The titty super, it looks weird. It does look odd, I'll agree with that. But I think she's solid too. So part 4 Jotaro, right? If he is literally just part 3 Jotaro, but with a cooler outfit and a gun and a new two new supers, I'm, okay, I'll agree with you guys. I will be upset as well. However, as a fan of part 4 and as a fan of part 4 Jotaro, like specifically, I love Jotaro in part 4. I love the role that he plays in that series. I am not hugely upset by this decision i'm kind of cool with it actually i could understand jojo fans big jojo fans being upset that he's in the game over he who shall not be named but as a fighting game fan first if they make him sick i won't care clone characters are a must clone characters happen a lot and as long as they make the clones cool i'm cool with it that might be a hot take but that's just me that's how i feel now the final final character right at least that we know of foo fighters if you guys didn't watch my video of me covering Foo Fighters and how much I loved playing as her by the end of the Anime Expo demo, I'll just say this right now. If she sets the standard, new characters being added to ASBR, I think the season pass could be healthy if a lot of characters follow her design. Because she was a blast to play as. I loved playing as her. Her animations look cool. Her taunts were sick. Her GHA is... Mm, but her HHA is like so cool. The fact that she calls in Weather Report to heal her just like in the manga, bro. That's so cool. It was a neat reference. The Plankton cancels are so hype. That honestly had me hyped. It's going to be incredibly frustrating to fight online, but she was sick. She's like an 8 or a 9. Deadass. She's awesome. But these are my final thoughts on this leak and this potentially final or potential final character roster. I think this is a good roster, except for... He who shall not be named uh, not being in the game, which I could, again, totally understand people being very upset. But for me, right, I think it's good. I think it's pretty good, dude.